Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to change the oil in a Renault Traffic 1.6 DCI engine. Let's get straight to it. This is the under tray of the van. What we want to do is get a 10mm socket and undo one at the front here, two, three, and we've then got another one, two at the back. And then the same on the opposite side, one and two. Once they're all out, it should just slide out like so. Maybe a bit difficult. Um, then there's the engine, obviously, in the gearbox to the side. That's the gearbox. There's the engine, as you can see, there's a sump. So I'm now going to move the van backwards to put the van on a level surface. That way, all the oil drains out the bottom of the sump as the sump plugs at the bottom of the engine, not to the side. So once you've removed the under tray cover of the van, uh, the next step for me is to take the car for a, or van for a drive just to make sure the engine oil is nice and hot, that way it's running on less thick so it runs out quicker. But you don't have to do that, it's not essential. Now we're going to open up the bonnet and take off the oil cap. Just something I always do, don't have to do this. Now we're going to drain the oil. Um, sump plug socket 8mm square and I've just got a 3 8 drive on the end you can obviously use a ratchet but my ones are broken to make do with what we got yes you can see there's a bit of an oil leak that'll get fixed it comes out nice and lightly when you take it out try and catch the thingy sump plug that's the one and just bear in mind when it comes out it's going to be black you get oily hands, yay. Don't worry if it's black, it's just normal. After a while, after about 2,000 miles, when the engine's brand new, the oil will also mostly go black. So it's just a diesel engine for you. So now we've taken off the sun plug, we're now going to take off the oil filter, which is just up here. So then we want to undo the oil filter with the correct tool. But bear in mind, guys, is that once you undo it, oil will come out, obviously. Oil filter. And more turns. As you guys can see, oil just started coming out of the filter. And the more you undo it, the more oil will come out. And you might also see that um, more oil will come out of the sump plug as this drains out the filter. We just watch the fact that the oil might go everywhere, the wind is going. And then out comes the oil filter, like so, and let that drain out. Like more is coming out. I'll just get that about another 10 or 15 minutes just until. The oil stops draining out more, as you can see, some oil is still coming out the sump plug. So when you take the oil filter out, all you want to do is get a screwdriver and push into the side of the filter somewhere, push it in, and just bring it out, and it'll pop right out like so. All you've got to do next is take the oil filter out, like so, make sure it doesn't go anywhere, drain as much oil as you can out of the rest of the uh, filler, uh, filter, cup housing, whatever you want to call it. And then take this seal off as well on the outside, like so. Let's bring everywhere, take that off, and then get a little, little rag and just try and clean up the outside of that. So, once the new filter is in, you want to make sure the filter is all the way into the housing. You feel this sort of click in like it's at home, um, and make sure the seal is on properly in the right uh, location. And make put a little bit of um, silicon or a bit of oil around the um, Seal if you can, just use a bit of old engine oil on my uh, nice plastic bag anyway. Uh, then once that's done, you can then put that back in the van. So as you guys can now see, there's barely any oil coming out of the sump or the filter. So it's all drained out um, after I've given it a while. Sorry about the uh, camera angle. Can't really do this in the drive, like I've already said. I'm going to get the filter, new filter, the housing, nice and clean. And put this, mind that bit, on the hose there. Go into place, move the hose out of the way. That's it. And then that's just snap into place. And then just twist this on. And then just do it up. I don't worry about talking it. You can talk it if you want. I've got no idea what the torque settings are. Just do it till it feels tight. And then just nip it up. Don't do it too tight because you might snap something. But once it's tight, fast forward this bit. Da -da 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 -da. Right, so that's now getting tight. That should be that should be fine. So next of all, we're going to then get, uh, get the 
that's the um, old sump plug gasket um, and his new one to make sure you replace these just to be on the safe side all I've done here is just this is the original one keeping the original one clean it up make sure no it's enough we don't have to clean it up if you don't want to I'll just do it anyway and then chuck that on the new one like so and then put that back on the bottom of the sump again personal preference you can clean this up if you want to they look nice and shiny yay sump plug and the new gasket I showed you and then chuck that on there kaboom just like that so it's finger tight obviously don't leave it finger tight and then again get the same tool you use to undo it obviously and then tie it up till it's just nipped up again I don't worry about talking it just as long as it's just do it what I feel really obviously if you can leave the trail cover off take the van for a drive and make sure both the filter and the sump plug isn't leaking just to be sure you don't have to but it's just something some people do so that's the bottom of the engine side done now up to the top now we're filling up with the Shell Helix Ultra 5 watts 30 which is for diesel engines it doesn't really make too much difference what make you use as long as it's you know it's fairly well good quality Shell uh, Renault Elf is what they use um, mobile one it doesn't really make a difference as long as or castrol whatever you want to use um yeah 7.4 liters of oil needs to go in so now the oil is in the engine we then want to turn it on and give it around 30 seconds just to let the oil go around the engine and then we're going to switch it off and check the oil level wipe the dipstick to make sure it's clean put the dipstick obviously a lot of people know how to check the engine oil just for the people who don't know how to check the engine oil push your way down give it a few seconds bring it back up as long as your oil level is in between as you see the little indents of the dipstick as long as it's in between the halfway and the maximum um, your engine oil should be fine just keep a regular check on it to make sure it doesn't go below halfway or minimum of course and that's it and the last thing to do is of course put the other tray back on so now to move the van so I can gain access to seeing the bolts better so now what we should do now is put this under tray cover back on and make sure the holes line up obviously to make sure they fit in place like so and put the bolts back in or the screws back in whatever you want to call them once the bolts are on and the under tray secure as you guys can see it's not coming off well I hope not anyway that is the all service done and I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video and thank you for watching